Okay, in this video, uh, we're going to look at some examples of mass spectrometry problems. They'll be similar to what you'll be asked on quizzes and exams uh, and in labs when you're asked to analyze spectrum. Okay, so we have a couple questions. Uh, the first one is, they want to know which peak represents the parent ion. And so in this case, uh, it would be this one here at 112 m to z ratio. Right, and remember this smaller peak next to it, that's due to the presence of carbon-13, and so that's not the parent ion peak. It's the one that's uh, that's larger here. All right, and they want to know the molar mass of the compound. Well, that's what the parent ion peak tells us. And so, uh, but when you give the answer, you don't want to just want to say 112 for the molar mass. You want to make sure you give units. And so you could give atomic units, or I prefer to use grams per mole. All right, and then the next thing they ask is to identify any peaks that are likely the result of a loss of a common fragment. And so what we need to do there is find the difference between the m to z ratio for these major peaks and the parent ion peak. So here uh, I have a peak at uh, 95, 96, that looks like 97. And so when I do 97, I'm sorry, when I do 112, minus 97, I get 15. And so this peak is likely due to the loss of a methyl. All right, if I look at this peak here, that looks like it's at 69. So when I do 112 minus 69, that gives me 43. And 43, that corresponds to loss of a propyl group. And when I look at this one here, I have 112, now let's write it over here, 112 minus 55, that gives me 57. And so that is likely the loss of a butyl group. And I could go even further. Uh, this isn't actually on your list of common fragments, uh, but when I do uh, 112 minus 41, I'm going to get 71, that's probably the loss of a pentyl group. All right, and so uh, we could also look at some of these smaller fragments, but oftentimes, uh, you know, I may focus on the ones with the greater intensities uh, that are the more common fragments. Okay, similar questions here. Uh, so they want to know what is the parent ion peak. And so, again, that's going to be basically the highest peak, except ignoring the peaks from carbon-13 here. So this is the parent ion peak. Uh, and then one of the molar mass of a compound, again, that's what the parent ion peak tells us. So the molar mass is 136 grams per mole. Uh, that's just to identify the base peak. Uh, so that would be the peak with the largest intensity. So that's going to be, here is the base peak. And they ask us to look for any common fragments. So when I look at this 119, right, I do the mass of the parent ion peak, and I get 17. And so I picked this example specifically because, like in the last one, like all of the big peaks were common fragments, but that's not necessarily the case. And so this 119, I'm not sure that really tells me anything. Uh, it's not one of our common fragments. And same thing. When I do, for this peak, 136 minus 91, I get 45, right? I'm not sure that's really telling me anything either. Um, it's something roughly the size of a propyl, but it's not the same size as a propyl, and so I don't know if I'd go out on that limb. And this 65, this is going to give us that pentyl again, but it's not, that's not one of the common fragments that you give you in the chart, so I wouldn't necessarily expect you to label that as such. All right, last couple questions. Uh, so for these last couple, we want to know whether our compound likely contains a chlorine, a bromine, or neither. Right, and so for these questions, we're looking to see if we have an M plus 2 peak. So in sort of the parent ion region, if we have two peaks that are basically two mass units apart, and the height of the peaks is the same, that is what we have here. That is indicative of a bromine atom. So when we have roughly... Uh, an M plus 2 peak that's the same height as the parent ion peak, that's a signal for a bromine. Right, in this case, 
I'm looking at this region again, looking at basically the parent ion region. And so I see two peaks that are uh, two mass units apart. And in this case, the one that's higher is about one third of the taller one. And this is what we expect when we have chlorine atoms, because chlorine 37 is a third of the natural abundance of chlorine 35. So this would be indicative when I have an M plus two peak that's about a third the size of the parent ion peak. That's a signal of a chlorine atom. All right, last example. Again, they're asking us if we have a chlorine or bromine or neither. And so in this case, I don't see an M plus two peak at all. So this is telling me I don't have either a chlorine or a bromine. All right, so you can do a whole lot more with mass spec, uh, but for this course, this is uh, all I'm going to ask you to do when you're analyzing a mass spectrum. So can you find the parent ion peak? That tells you the molar mass. Can you find the base peak? And can you uh, look at the difference between the M to Z ratio of various peaks and the parent ion peak to see if you have any common fragments?